Great. Hello, everyone. I'm Julia, and this is... I'm Megan. Um, and today we are going to be showing you how to make paper trees. And I'll show you what materials you're going to need to make this. <laughs> All right. So you'll need a um, toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll that you cut in half. You're going to need um, markers or something like markers, like these colored Sharpies. You're going to need scissors. Um, and construction paper or some sort of colored paper. Any color doesn't really matter. Um, and if you want, you can use glue if you want to cut out shapes and glue them on. Um, right, so to start with, we are going to take our construction paper and draw a leafy top shape, kind of like a fluffy cloud. Okay. And I'm using the color red now because it's like autumn. This is the shape I drew. Oh, very cool. So it can really be like any kind of shape. <laughs> You're going to cut it out. I feel like I always think of truffle trees when I'm making trees. Oh, those would be fun colors, like yeah, um, pink and stuff. All right. Almost like I too, put too many curves in my tree. It's going to take a while to cut out. But I'm getting there slowly but surely. All right. I got mine cut out. Oh, very good. Oh, nice. <laughs> then we take the top of our tree and we're going to line it up with the trunk like so and once you have a good placement for it you can mark um, the tree trunk sides on it so you know where it lines up So, yeah, like how Megan has it, yeah. And then, all you have to do is cut a tiny slit on those lines, just a tiny one. So. Oh, and we're gonna put it on. Yep. Oh, cool. And it'll Look fit. at a tree. It should fit right on. Behold the tree. Now the tree is done, and now all you have to do is decorate. Ooh. And there's really all kinds of ways to decorate. This is the part where you can go crazy. We can draw fruits or birds or animals or um, extra leaves. Ooh, extra leaves. I'm gonna go with extra leaves, I think. So I'm gonna cut out a little bit more. You can also decorate the trunk. Decorate the trunk. Did you make your um, tree a living thing, like that has a mouth and yep. nose? Get a happy, cartoony, smiling tree, which is what I'm going to do. Nice. Are you going to name your tree, Julia? This one is going to be. Mm. Uh, uh, I want to say strawberry, but I know that's a weird yeah. tree. <laughs> Leaning towards. That's okay. okay. So, I drew a face. Oh, it almost looks like a vampire of some sort, like a friendly vampire. Ooh, like a Halloween tree. Yeah, like a Halloween tree. 
Um, I think I'll draw a line, something in the leaves, maybe a oh, Very cool. I've decided to make mine three dimensional. Ooh. So put this on top of that. Fancy. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It could go poorly to see. I'm gonna cut right down the middle. Oh, nope, not quite. <laughs> there you go, work. Well, I guess you might have to cut into the other one to get it to go a little bit deeper. I threw a really bad bird. Yeah. Ooh. That's really cool. All right. I think I've got a three dimensional tree now. Oh, I yeah. like it. Nice. Like a butterfly <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> you know, shape shifting tree. It's all good. Yeah, Very cool. If you have other stuff at home, like stickers or glitter or whatever you can think of, you can use that to decorate. This is really the part with no restrictions. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can make as many trees as you have the paper rolls. So I've got almost a forest. I don't know if two trees count as a forest, but. It's called my Bruce. <laughs> Yay, we have like Yay. <laughs> three trees. Woohoo! Good work, Julia. This is really cool. <laughs> And that's really all there is to it. Um, so that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. And we'll see you next week for our next craft video. Great. Bye, guys. Bye.